Welcome to Electro Online. In the previous video, we saw how to find the scalar equation of a plane in three dimensional space, and this is the result of that previous video. Now we're going to take that equation and we're going to find the x, y, and z intercepts. To find the x intercept, what we need to do is we need to set y equal to z equal to zero. If y and z are equal to zero, that's where the plane crosses the x-axis. If we want to find the y-intercept, we must set x equal to z equal to zero, and that's where the plane crosses the y-axis. And finally, to find the z-intercept, we set x equal to y equal to zero, and that's where the plane crosses the z-axis. Well, let's go ahead and do that for each of those three intercepts and see what we get. First, we're going to set y equal to z, z equal to zero. So if y and z are equal to zero, that means we end up with 2x is equal to 12, which means that x is equal to 6. For the y-intercept, we set x and z equal to zero, which means we get 3y equals to 12, which means that y is equal to 4. And finally, to find the z-intercept, we set x and y equal to zero, we get 4z is equal to 12, which means that z is equal to 3. These are the x, y, and z intercept of the plane. And now if we want to draw that, it makes it pretty easy. Let's go ahead and put the coordinate system down. We have the z-axis, the y-axis, and the x-axis. First, we find the x-intercept at equal to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's right there. Now we find the y-intercept at y equals 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And finally, the z-intercept is equals 3. 1, 2, 3, right there. Then if we draw a triangle connecting the three points, we now have a portion of the plane. You can see how the plane is angled in this direction. Notice it crosses the z-axis there, the y-axis there, and the x-axis there. And that's how we find the intercepts of a plane once you have the scalar equation. And that's how it's done.